Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at making a map. All right, and because that's sort of the next step. Uh, if I recall correctly, everyone was, and we might have to verify it and do some more testing, but everyone was capturing their location and storing it in the cookie. And everyone was then, if they moved a certain distance, it would show approximately the number of feet within the, the what would you say, the, 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 the air range of, of that kind of thing. So what we want to do now, our next step is to make a map of that stuff. We want to make a map that will show where we parked our car, all right, or whatever we put as a landmark. And then we want to show a marker where we currently are. That's what we're going to look at trying to do today, and we'll get as much of that done as we can. All right? I'm going to go over some basic stuff, so we're going to turn you loose, and then we'll kind of do like we did on Monday, where if you have questions, we'll deal with it, otherwise work away. The next step, obviously, is to do it where like, it continually updates, so that like, as you're walking closer, it shows you getting closer and closer to your destination. So I posted a link here about creating a map. Yes? Is this going to be a homework assignment? Or yeah, this is a homework assignment. Yeah, this is like whatever lab. I think I sketched out two weeks for it. All right. Um, I think I said this will be two weeks worth of assignment. We might then try to turn this into a native app as our next thing. Yeah. Using PhoneGap, which actually is pretty straightforward. All right, I'm going to go and I'm going to create, um, I don't know what I'm going to do because this is, I can't find anything on this. Windows 8, um, Notepad++, there, that's good. I'm going to make my HTML document and I'm going to copy some code from here. And we're going to be using what's called the, the Google API and API stands for, I believe, Application Program Interface, something like that. Um, uh, in other words, it's how you communicate with, with a service, you know. It, it's, it's nice, and again, I talk about this in many of my classes, you know, it, software development used to be, you know, you, the programmer, wrote everything. You know, you wrote everything. Now we have much more component-based architecture where there's little components that do certain parts of the job. And you don't necessarily even have to write them all. You can use services that other people created. And that's actually good because, for one thing, it gives you sort of an assurance that it's done correctly without a lot of testing. In other words, the folks at Google already tested their stuff, so it's probably pretty solid. So that's a nice comfort zone. Um, and uh, then it allows you to focus on the parts of the app that are unique to your app. In other words, instead of focusing on sort of the mundane things, you can focus on what's distinct to your application. And again, that's, that's the idea of using any sort of service like this, any sort of API, any sort of framework, is it provides this. All right, first thing we have to do is copy and put this here in our script section. And what this will do is this will give us access to a set of scripts on Google server. Do all scripts have to go in the head? It's a good idea to put them in the head. That ensures that before <coughs> anything happens, they get loaded before anything in the body gets loaded. Now the sensor <coughs> falls, we can play around with this. This is whether you have an actual GPS or not. I'm going to go and I'm going to make that true. I'm going to lie to it and make it true. We'll see what, if anything bad happens or not. All right. Watch the phone will ring in here and, you know, it, it'll be, what's his name? Sergei Brin saying cut that out or something. I don't think Yeah. But at any rate, <laughs> this gives us access to a whole slew of scripts um, that Google wrote and objects that Google wrote for us to do our thing. All right, next thing we're going to look at is I'm going to make a div somewhere on our page to hold a map. I'm going to get rid of the style. All right. This is going to start off empty and then via our JavaScript, we are going
going to um, create the map and pop it in this place. Okay, so this is a placeholder for where we're going to put our map. So it's going to start out being empty. Now, I'm going to go and I am going to do this. I'm going to start by doing this in an onload event. Now, we've talked about events before. I'm not necessarily saying you need to do this in the onload event. I'm just doing it here because I want this code to execute as soon as the, the page loads. All right. You may want to do this code at some other time in your application. That's part of your job to sort of figure out all right, how to wire these things together. So I'm going to make a script here of my own called and I'm going to make a function in it called draw map. And I'm going to put the code in there necessary to draw a map. soon as this page fires up, go and call draw map. Now, where are we going to draw our map for? Well, I'm just going to draw it for the North Pole. Let's see what Santa's doing up there. So I think North Pole is latitude and longitude of zero. I think. If not, we'll find out what that is. So I'm going to create a latitude and longitude variable. Oh, he's 90 degrees latitude. Repeat, please. Oh, it'd be a latitude of 90. Okay. Because we're in the what, mid 40s. Okay, I'll buy that. All right. So we'll try this. It really doesn't matter. We're going to get a point somewhere. All right. We'll see where we'll see where it is. Now, what is that? Google Maps Lat LNG. That is an object. Where do you suppose that object is defined? On, uh, on Google server? Yeah, it's defined as part of this script. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's defined as part of this script, the ability to create that. And this is simply a special, it's an object, you know. It's a special representation of latitude and longitude that Google needs to do to use to do its thing. All right. In other words, it can't just use a normal integer for latitude and longitude. It needs the latitude and longitude stored in one of these guys. All right. So now I'm going to go and say, I'm going to set some options on the map. I'm going to start out, I'm only going to set one option. start out just setting one option, and that is the center location of it. So where is the center defined? The center is defined in this <coughs> latitude and longitude position variable, this object I created. So I'm defining a set of options, and that options, we'll look at some more of those options in a minute here, but those options have um, like all sorts of options that we can set for this. We can set a zoom option, we can set a 
uh, whether, whether it will show like a, a road map or a satellite map. We can set all these different parameters. Right now, we're just going to center it. And I'm not setting anything else. We'll just set the defaults for that. Now, the actual command to create the map looks like this. just going to type it. correct. Let me just take a step back and look at it. All right. Let's see what this is doing. All right. This is doing, first of all, is creating a new map. Again, where does it get this stuff for a map? It gets it from up here. All right. We give two parameters to this. One is document get element by ID map, and the other is my options. What do you suppose that first argument represents? That's where you're going to actually place it. In That's where I'm going to pop that map in, in the <coughs> HTML code. So in other words, where does this map appear? It appears here. It'll be put in that div. So it'll be just like we said, inner HTML equals something. All right? We're pointing to that div. That's where we're putting the map. My options, what is that? Well. That's a list of parameters we give, the characteristics of the map. So this is how we represent the options as sort of an array of options. All right. We've only, we're only setting the center in this case, but we could set other options as, as well, and we'll look at that. So let's go and let's try this. Let me save this. Let me save it as an HTML file on the desktop. And let's go and run this. We shouldn't because it's all HTML, but let me go and... Uh, Where do you turn that back to false? Is it looking for GPS? Yeah, that's a good point. Let's try this. try copying this up to my web server here. See if that makes a difference. Good point. It might 
it, it might be popping it in there, but it doesn't have enough s size to show. That's a darn good point. So that style that I said, ha, 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 I'm going to remove that. We don't really need it. We might need that. So style equals width 600 pixels, height 600 pixels. Let's see if that matters. be able to see Oops. something going on here. Yeah. Let's change well, it to let's change it to a, a different position. I sure hope it isn't that that was showing the North Pole and there's just a bunch of snow up there. <laughs> I'm going to feel so stupid if that's the case. That's a good point though. Yeah. There's just nothing. Or do you have to tell it what kind of man? Well, let's see. Let's see if we can... and add some of those options while we're at it because that was one of the things that we speculated that maybe I'm not setting enough of the options. So let's go in and look at history. Uh, do, do, do. I just assume if we didn't specify anything, it would create it with certain defaults, and maybe that's not the case. Let's see. Zoom equals that, equals that. Ah, there we go. Good, good call. All right. So there we are looking at the Taj Mahal. We can, it, it did the default zoom. How do we change some of the options? There's a whole list of things. Well, let's say we want a satellite view. We could say satellite. I think that's how you spell satellite. No. One T and two L's. And let's change the zoom. Good grab. Better here than downstairs. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'll be getting a memo saying, what are you doing? Um, let's, let's play with the Zoom. Here's a comp, they have a link to the comprehensive guide, which again is, you know, um, I 
Well, let's play with that. Let's make the zoom one. Okay. Yeah, there it is. But we do know it's at the center, right? All right, let's make the zoom 20. <laughs> wow, and we're in the courtyard, I think, of it, and we can play around with that, and let's maybe make it 15, yeah. All right. So maybe like, let's try like 17 or 18. So we used the coordinates that we gave as a center, and it used the other parameters. So I guess you do need those parameters. I thought they would be defaults that would get filled in. Um, now, there probably are a lot of other parameters we could set too to show some things. And you can, you can read that in the complete documentation of the API. Now, there's a couple other things you can do. And I'm going to leave that to you to play with. They are, for example, you can set a marker on the map. All right? So just like if we go to Google Maps here, there's a little pin there. You can manually, through your code, put a pin somewhere. Where do you think in your application you're going to want to manually put the pin? Well, where you left your car and where your current position is. Can we get directions? I mean, like if Well, let's for today try to do this. Let's for today try to do this. Because we could explore the API and see things, for example, like what if I put a pin that isn't on the map, that isn't in the displayed map? What happens there? I think it just sticks a pin out there and you just have to zoom out. Maybe based on the distance that it is, you could set your zoom. That would be cool, right? In other words, you know the distance between the two points, right, because you have that. If the distance is, you know, 10 feet, you zoom in real close. If the distance is, you know, 3,000 feet, you zoom out a little bit so that, that you can see both pins in there. So what I want you to do for today is, number one, and I'm going to be mean. I'm not going to upload this code, all right? So I want you to go through the exercise. I did give you the, the website that's required. It was pretty straightforward. About the only thing tricky I did, other than copying the code, is I put it on an onload event. And I was mistaken in saying that you didn't need to set some of the options. Apparently, you do need to set some of the options. But first, create a map that is centered where your car is parked. All right? Then add pins to it that show your current location and the you know where the where your car is parked all right so try doing that today try creating a map that's centered where your car is parked and try adding two pins one for each of those now it doesn't have to be dynamic in other words it could happen when you click the button today just shoot for that today, that when you click the button and click the other button, it shows you the two pins. doesn't matter if you move around uh, and, and the, the, the pin doesn't move. Yeah, we'll work on that some other day. So we're going to have to plug in our GPS location to where when you put in the, the information for the Taj Mahal, we're yep. going to have to call our, our cookie, right? Well, you're, you're going to have to somehow put the location in there that you want. Okay. Right. All right. We'll see you down there. We'll see if everyone runs down there before they forget the code that was <laughs> put in. Can we see it one more time? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. We can, but it is pretty much just copied from that page. We have a div where we're going to put it. 
We have an Arnold up there. Oh, did you take a picture? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'll show you my photos. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, that's okay. Just the act of typing it in, even, is, is I think, enough for you to review the code. So even if you wrote it down. And it's like, is this part of the pre-class debate about why you need a, a smartphone? But I guess, I guess even even older phones do have cameras, so I guess that's not really relevant here. All right, see you down. That, that's you know, it's fine if.